Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Faz Fishing and today we're just gonna be showing our updated tackle box. Uh last year I posted a video on my tackle box, my small little edition, but now we've grown to a much larger variety of bait. So I'm just gonna show you one by one. This is my tackle box now. Yeah, like last year was bad. <laughs> but right here is my favorite all-time no second favorite trout bait and it catches me a lot of trout it's so good it's just a pink worm it's like bass to how they're attracted to little sankos like this this is my favorite this is my favorite bass bait too and also mm -hmm. excuse me and i also like this uh this is my favorite actually my favorite um trout bait it's also a good bass bait. I found out, um, I showed you guys in the last one, but that, it's just my favorite. It, I, it's, I can't stress enough how good it is. A uh, little popper. Uh, I mean, yeah. And this is just a topwater bait. It floats around the top like this. Hopefully the bass take it. And that's how it's used. But this one's a good one. I catch a couple bass off of it sometimes. Um, what else? We got the old spoon action with the little trout bait on the top. So, the tr um, this is the one I'm holding on my top is the blue and um silver one. Is the spoon used for pike? But I usually, I the only thing I've ever caught off of a spoon is a um, what do you call it, a perch. And I've never tried this little bait out right there, so could be interesting i want to try that out now this is another trout bait use also you could also use it for uh for um trout or bass too like bass will love that also going on to my next one i'm skipping to a lot of these but i love absolutely love this for bass i've caught in like every time I use this bait, I at least catch three or four bass. It's so nice. But yeah, that's my first row. Um, I still have a bunch of stuff on the bottom. Let's see. Let's take a look at that. Oh, this crappy rig right here. Oh my god, I remember this. We had this in um. Whoa, what's going on here? But we had this in. Not the bottom one, but all this mess. This was used for mackerel in Maine. Using catching mackerel in Maine. Oh, it did not work. However, it did not work. But then we also have our. I have another brownish color of this one, but we've got our frog. Oh my God! I can't stress enough how good these things are. They're top water baits. So this is the the design on this is one. Once the bass strikes the frog it goes down and the hooks activate basically and then the the, the the bass will just hook right on or whatever is attacking it i hope it's a bass that's just what they're mainly used for and you know we got our northern pike bobbers and our northern pike hooks that are literally huge they're nice uh we got our flay knife in here um Snap swivels, just extra line, stuff like that. I mean, we got an extra spoon, a couple spoons in there. Uh, don't have anything else much, but yeah. I mean, that's my tackle box. I don't know about you guys, but I think I great. Oh yeah, and our handy dandy weight scale, brothers. Yeah, that thing. I love that thing. That's what I weighed to for my bass rate. Boop, touching its lip. That's what I used to weigh my thing, and it measured at six and a half, but that was after it was out of water, so I think it could have been six and three quarters. I don't know. But, I mean, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, don't forget to um like, subscribe, like always, tell your friends on my channel. And something new, I'm going to say every video, please help me with some ideas and just sauce an idea in the comment section below. Just 
So you, how you do that is you scroll down. If you don't know how to, you scroll all the way down. It will say comments. Tap, tap on the comment section. And then you could type anything, type an idea. That would help me out so much. But see you guys in the next one. And peace.